waste. We humans have entire sewer systems built around the convenient flush, but for most animals, getting rid of their excrement is a DIY affair. Today on Zyology, we're looking at how animals keep a strategic distance from the loo and hide where they go for number one and number two. If you're an elephant or a buffalo, you can really just keep walking. But what if you live in a nest? You know the old saying, don't bleep where you sleep. Well, for robins, changing the diapers of their young means disposing of fecal sacs. And I'm not talking three or four. Robin parents take out 60 to 70 bundles a day. The sacks are made of a tough mucus, and the birds fly up to 40 meters before they drop them and say bombs away. Good luck, though, remember that. Scat-firing caterpillars distance themselves from their waist using their own body as a cannon. It's certainly an extraordinary ability and allows the caterpillars to shoot out fecal pellets up to 40 times their body length, hitting speeds of 1.3 meters per second. How do they do it? Well, they pump up their blood pressure right under their anal launching pad and let her rip. The scatapulting has benefits too. Flicking their fecal matter into the distance keeps predators from knowing their location. That's because in nature, poo is a dead giveaway and its smell draws attention. White-tailed deer parents know this and avoid it at all costs. They don't let their kids leave their droppings like a cookie trail. Instead, they eat them. That's right, the young fawns hold it until mama comes back from foraging and then mom removes all of the evidence. Motherly love, you've really got to admire it. So there you have it. In the animal kingdom, hiding your tracks is the best way to ensure that you're left alone. In the human world, however, even if someone tracks you down, you can be pretty sure they're still gonna want to avoid you. Is he dying here? 